Split push, split push, join in for a fight if needed, or attract some members from Fnatic over to try and kill. He's gonna have to wait there, they may even go for a two-man dive on him. This could be a very risky dive. Diamond, he's at the wolf camp, doesn't seem like he's moving down though, so can they actually go for this one? They're going in. They are gonna go for this one, double buffs actually up for Cyanide. There's the Ignite coming in, and it's an easy first blood picked up by Fnatic. So has tanked up, the Spear is already on his way back into that mid lane. Oh, Darien down the bottom, getting very low. This is surely a kill, so has is gonna pick that one up. Wild growth himself to protect protect himself from the turret. Peke and Cyanide were both inside of that blue camp. Are they going to be able to stop them having it? Darian, uh, sorry, Diamond is going to come in there at the front, and I think Fnatic a little bit scared about this one. No, they're not. They're going straight in. There's a spear landed. Alex is very low. Will he get finished? Yes, he will. Now they focus around on towards Diamond. Wild Growth is in there. It's a double kill for the Monkey King. And look at the coordinate. Darian's taking damage as well. That basically means a free spear gets thrown at Alex in the end, and they've pushed them away. And look at the mid lane. Sunad, he's just pushing down the turret. This dragon, though, is it? With Lulu, Morgana, pretty much with all of them, it's hard to get through those narrow, uh, narrow entrances. As Darian here going to use his ultimate. Is he going to be caught down though? No, he isn't. Turret. And also, that the rest of Gamma can do anything. Get what? Getting poked. Everything landing onto him there. The boomerang goes flying. And so they don't get caught in the jungle. That's actually where the Scrying Off can be very useful for him. A thing we, don't, we do notice is the fact that Fnatic has so much focus on the blue. Fnatic already moving in position for it. We can see that Gamma might think about something on it as well. They're going for him. Oh, I'm not sure he's going to get away from this one. Nope. Wild Growth going to knock him up. Good flash over. Will he land a spear into him from this? Darian. Much about this oh. one there is so as though speeding himself in. Darian's caught. He does have his ulti available. He's going to use that quite early. They're going to throw everything that they've got at him here just to lock him down. There's the dark binding. It takes a while, but Soaz finishes off. Whenever he's low, it's going to apply the healing debuff and make sure that he won't regain as much as normally, and they can maybe even take him down faster than he expected. He's actually going very aggressive on Soaz. Well, this is a very squishy Lulu, but here comes Cyanide from the side. Going to use his Cyclone. Have they got the damage to actually finish off Darien? There is the Ignite put down as well. Soaz wins that one out, and again, Darien. That means the store is now joining the team, and instead Cam can focus on everything. They might be going in for this one. It's a good bit of damage actually coming in from the side, from the call in there. With so Fnatic, they want, they want this turret, and Gambit, if they can keep defending and Darren can actually pick up his turret, it will be what they're going in. And they're going in for this one, are they going to get anything from it? Edward goes very low, he's put the box down, they pick off Diamond first of all, Edward will fall, that's two kills here for Fnatic, who are they going to go for next? Alex off to the left, kind of alone here in the jungle, they're finally going to get back together, Spear lands on towards Genja, Peke very, very quick with that speed burst out of Lulu, but look at Gambit's positioning, they either stick around here and maybe lose uh, a couple more kills, which it oh, looks like they will, that is good stuff from Yellowstar, it's the <laughs> spear from downtown from Peke that gets it. Members from Gambit already respawned, so they just want to chase down Genja, make sure to get a kill, and there's no way he's going to escape this one. No, walks in there, a monkey spots him, there is the dash back over the wall, and Genja now on a trip to try and escape once again. This time, Peke coming in there. Finally, he does go down. Now only Darian is there, and they'll just block any spare and start to do some damage. Peke going to be knocked back, but Reckless actually spell shielded that ultimate coming out. There's another spear landing. Edward is way out of position. He throws down the box. That's going to slow Cyanide and Soaz, but there we just see the talisman popped, and they just all start to back off once again. Are they going to actually go for a fight here, Gambi? It's 5v4, of course. They don't have the support, who's one of their big source of initiation and Darian goes a little bit too far forward. Is he going to drop more Ganner ulti doing work? There is Genja falling low. Darian is still alive there at the back and he's regening fast enough but look at Reckless. He could pick them all up here. He's going to get himself too. Can he get more? No. Gambit escaped but they're three men down. This will be the first in him of the game. And Gambit it always met off Sanai. He came into the back line. He got the Lulu ultimate popped off and then Reckless he just went huge on them in the end. And then we see not only the inhibitor but a Nexus turret taken. Land that cleaver and he's going to pop his ultimate to get that movement speed. There's the decoy. Dashes out actually and they're going to try and chase him down but Reckless is there at the front. Reckless actually going to be tanking up a lot of that damage and here comes Soa. Darian slowed right down from that one. He's going to go for the lantern. He takes the lantern off. Oh, he's gone down. Just in that last one. Yellow start and Peke though trying to play the zoning game off to the side. Baron is pretty low. There's the Q and the ultimate a little bit too early. He smites it down in the end and now they turn up all the kills. There's a good repel. They've already picked off Alex Hitch. Darian gonna get locked up. They need to get on top of the lantern there so that he can't take it. It times out. Darian not gonna escape just yet. And there's the monkey coming around the side. Another dark binding lands. Darian will go down to Soaz. That's three men dead for 35 seconds on Dragon Nexus to it, and they're gonna go straight for the victory. Nexus is gonna be focused, and Fnatic finally do it. They pick up a win after losing eight games in a row.
and it's not other than Gambit that they take down in there. The team that started off is horrible. 17 for zero in kills, eight to two in turrets, and to be honest, two of them were taken simply because Darian was off on his own doing his thing. Uh, really, really strong play out of Fnatic. 5 0 9 for Soaz. We talked about how his confidence has been knocked and how he needed a good performance just to, just to win. I don't think he even 